Well, good morning, team. Welcome to this weekend's mission. I'm down at Taranaki and out here with fellow kayak fisher Tim Bertram. Um, and we're out here chasing tuna this weekend. Uh, we're down here for both days and uh, we're pretty lucky. There's a pretty good forecast out here this weekend. We've got about five to eight knots today and not much swell. And then tomorrow is going to be pretty similar. So both days are going to be trolling lures and hoping to get onto some tuna. Still haven't caught one off the kayak yet. So hopefully we can change that this weekend. So that didn't take long and we're on. <laughs> Woohoo! Lures had only been out for about two minutes and we're hooked up. Still got my other one out the back there but it floats so we should be right. It's not really running bro. Nah, not really. Might be a shark. There's a bit of weight to it. What's it gonna be? There we go. Sitting right down the bottom there. It's about 30 meters deep. There's a lot of weight behind this fish. Oh, there we go. That's real heavy, bro. I think it's probably going to be a shark. Okay, here it comes. Now it's coming up. Had the lures out all of two minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, shark. Gotta be a shark. There's something following it up now though. Oh shit, yeah, there's something real big on it. It's uh, still 30. And there's something coming up from 40 chasing it. Come on. <laughs> that shark, eh? That's gotta be a shark. Yeah. 50. Come on. 40. 30. Twenty meters. Probably get the feet on, eh? <laughs> 10 meters. Should be able to see it soon. Oh, shit. Didn't like that. Oh no, yeah, oh it's a kingy, the big kingy. <laughs> ah, well, usually I'd be pretty stoked about a kingfish, but on today's mission, we're not really after kingfish. <laughs> Bro, it's a stonker kingy. <laughs> holy, holy hecka, yeah, he's just right in the gill. It's barely hooked. Got to be pretty stoked about that though. I'll just get him through the jaw. He's hooked by one hook in the cheek. <laughs> Do you want this by the way? This can you? I'll probably chuck it back.
Yeah, totally up to you, man. If you want it, you can have it. But. Yeah, and then I've like lugging around 12 kilos of fish all day. Oh, there we go. Self release. He doesn't know he's, he's been released though. Yeah, there he goes. Off he goes. But there we go. Bit of excitement for the day, guys. Very nice kingfish. I didn't get it on board, obviously, but probably guess it was in that 12 to 14 kilo range. Um, nicely self release there. I think we'll chuck the lures back out and keep working our way down the coast. Alright, bit of an update, guys. Been paddling around all day and have not managed to get onto any fish. Uh, it's been pretty hard finding good water. And uh, yeah, other than that kingy, we really haven't seen much, but we're uh, just heading back and we've found these birds working, so we're going to paddle the lures around them and see if we can find some fish. Fingers crossed. Definitely fish here. They're over there. Oh, there they are, bro. Yep. Yep. Oh, I think I dropped it on it, we're still on. There it is. Bit of a shit show out here. Got too many rods in the water. There we go. Oh, no! Dropped it! Yeah! Far out! Bugger! If I hadn't have had to clear my rods, I would have got it! Bugger! Soft bait! Alright, we're chasing down this work up again. It's a pity about that last fish. Had too many rods out in the water. I was trolling about three lures before, so. Yep, that's my fault. But uh, anyway, hopefully we can catch up with this uh, work up again and get another one. Not sure if this is just going to be Kahawai, uh, but yeah, hopefully it's tuna. We'll see. Oh, yes! Oh, is it Kahawai? Oh, bugger. Oh, uh, well. Bit of excitement anyway. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Even though this isn't the target species, you cannot beat Kahawai on soft bait gear. <laughs> How good. You said a loose drag for the camera. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And there it goes. Alright, Tim's on to a good one. Either big kawai or possible tuna. What's it gonna be though? Yeah, that looks solid as, bro. Unless it's a king, but. Oh, yeah, it could be a kingy. Whatever it is, looks pretty decent. Come on, please. Is it? I think it's an 
No. Send them to the tuna. <laughs> yes, boy. Yeah. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes. Well, that's what we're here for. And Tim's done it. And that's it. Yeah, I know, so just take it slow, bro. Don't hate to see you lose this one. It's not done yet. I know, I'm, I'm nervous for you, bro, but you got this. Here it is. <laughs> Whoa, ah, that must be a goodie. Holy, it's not done. I'm, I'm gonna get my lures in and get out of your road, eh? Woohoo! Oh, oh look at that. What happened? It's Did it? Oh! <laughs> there we go. Alby landed. <laughs> if it worked him. Let's have a look, bro. Wow! <laughs> That's an amazing fish. That is a real nice one. Woo -hoo -hoo. Could only took what 30 k's of paddling. Woo -hoo -hoo. Excellent fish, Tim. Nice job, mate. No, <laughs> don't you drop that fish. Nice one. Great, dude. Good morning guys, day two of our trip down here in Taranaki, um, sun's just coming up and we've just got on the water and just punched through the surf behind us. We're at a new location today um, and a guy at the boat ramp reckons some uh, tuna have been caught out here in the last sort of week, so uh, that's giving us some good hope. Um, we're going to stay a lot closer in shore today we think, probably in that sort of, in that sort of uh, 15 to 20 meter zone. And yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I think I've got a fish on. Very sluggish fish, whatever it is. Ah, uh, it's a kahawai. <laughs> <We're> hooked up, <laughs> barely even got off the beach. Oh yes, nice kahawai, that would make a uh, good live bait if I was out east today, but we're not out here to catch kingies, we're out here to catch tuna, so this guy's going home, perfect size live bait kahawai though. Alright, let's continue. Alright, we're hooked up again. Probably a kahawai. Pretty big run though, eh? Kind of feels like a snapper. Oh, no, that's going to be a kahawai. Yeah, there it is. There he goes, away, self release. Alright, hooked up again. Hopefully, this time it's a tuna and not a kahawai. But we'll find out shortly. Oh, 
know, it's feeling like a, another kahawai. Oh well. Oh, kingfish. Another kingy. Not a very big one though. Yeah, just a baby kingy. There we go. Well, here we go. Second king for the trip. This one's much smaller than yesterday's one. Um, but yeah, they can't seem to resist that lure. A 14 centimetre uh, Berkeley fire stick, I think. So, doing the damage. This little guy's going back. Look at this. What? <laughs> so, while well, I've been getting my. Uh, Lower's bitten off by sharks. Tim's been out here catching good snapper and now we're both hooked up. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, you drop it. Tim's got about a uh, 10 to 13 sort of pound snapper on board. Oh, that looks pretty decent, bro. Wow. Are oh, you going to send it back? Yeah. Nice. Good man. That's what we're about. Catch and release. Probably a little bit big to, uh, yeah. Good call. Yeah, I've got my cell phone, which doesn't feel too bad. So soft baits do work on the west coast. <laughs> One's almost at the boat now, about five metres off off the boat. Doesn't feel bad either. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's not a bad fish. Probably like, I don't know, eight pounds. Yeah, eight pound maybe. There you go. First drop of the soft bait. <laughs> That's what I caught. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful West Coast snapper. Pretty epic. This one will also be going back because don't really need this big guy, so he'll go home. All right, let's get this guy on his way. Oh, <laughs> too easy. He wasn't mucking around. Straight back down. Woo -hoo -hoo. Epic. Oh, it might be a kingy. All right. Okay, <clears throat> back onto another fish. Tim and I uh, couldn't resist, but. Uh, Stop off at this spot, there's just some really good sign on the bottom, so we've just done a few drops and onto something pretty decent. I don't think there's a snap, there's gonna be a kahawai, I think. Nah, I'm just a bit nervous, eh, with this. Uh... Oh no, that, that's a snap. That's a... Yeah, that's a snap. Might be sort of same size as that last one. A, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, it is another nice snap. Oh, that's a kingy. Oh no, it is a snap. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's probably like 15, bro. Demo that, uh... Demo the soft bait. So this is the se second ca second cast for the day, 
and uh, <laughs> second fish. I can't tell if it's well hooked or not. Doesn't matter because it's going back. But holy hecka! <laughs> Try and get this guy by the tail. Got him. Oh, epic snapper coming on board today. I think that's probably in that 15 to 20 pound range. Very nice fish. And he's still, still got lots of juice in him. He's absolutely annihilated the soft bait too. It's right down there. There you go, hooks out. That hook wasn't going anywhere, it was super, super lodged in there. Now we'll get this guy back in the water. Alright, let's get this guy back in the water. Full of juice when he came up, so it shouldn't be hard to get this one on its way. Still in pretty shallow water here as well, so... I don't think it'll be very hard to release this one. Go! Away he goes! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Can't beat that. Beautiful catch and release of a nice snapper. Literally second drop of the soft baits. Just nuts. Two from two fish, both of them epic fish. But we've got a bit distracted because the, <laughs> the mission today is all about tuna. So I think we're probably going to keep pushing out wide now and, and get back to, uh, to the tuna fishing. Okay, we've been paddling around for a bit since getting those snapper. We've been chasing these workups. There's one right in front of me, so. Hopefully if I'm fast enough, I can get the lures through it and hopefully hook up. Alright, hooked up to what I suspect is another kahawai. Seems to be the theme for today is kahawai. Another kahawai. Probably going to be the most common bycatch today instead of tuna, but all good, keep looking. I'm hooked into another fish. At first, I thought it was a kahawai, but it might be a snapper. Oh, it's probably going to be a kahawai. I don't know, it is a snapper. Looks like a nice one. Got some big kingfish following it up too. Wow, another ripper snapper. <laughs> it's my third snapper today. I don't think they come in small sizes down here in Taranaki. Look at that! Another awesome fish! If I can keep it on board. <laughs> there we go. Catch and release, too easy. That was probably just as big as that first one this morning. Could have even been bigger. There's obviously kingies here as well, so I might actually do a bit of jigging. Well, I was just having my lunch and uh, put the catchy catchy down while I was eating and hooked up to what I think is a nice snapper. 
wasn't even working, the jagger was just on the bottom and uh, did the trick. Apologies again for my reel, it's uh, got a bit of sand or something in it and yeah not sounding too great at the moment but as long as it gets the fish in it's all good by me. I have a feeling this is going to be a very good snapper. It's taking a long time to get up. Oh, here it comes now. Wow, yep, another big, big snapper. Every single fish we've caught today has just been insane. And this one's no different. It's a big snap. There's another one in those high teens I'd say. It's a very nice snapper. It's not 20 but yeah I'd say high teens. Quickly get the hooks out of this guy and get him back. All right hooks are out. Now let's get this big fella back on his way hopefully. I think he was pretty exhausted after that fight. It was a pretty long fight, but we'll try and get him back home. He's kicking. He's kicking. Okay, guys. Well, unfortunately, that snapper didn't go back. I think the long fight sort of got the better of it but hey um, we've had a pretty good release rate this trip pretty much every fish has well every fish has gone back um, that we wanted to release other than that one so um, I'm pretty happy about that and all good if I don't get a tuna today at least I'm going home with a feed and uh, that's going to go great in the new smoker that I've got so all good I'm going to keep trekking on and hopefully run across some tuna in the next wee while Well, late afternoon now guys, and I'm going to call it a day. Um, another long day out here on the water, and no tuna sadly, but it's been a great day nonetheless. And what an awesome weekend we've had down here in Taranaki. It's uh, my first time down here, and the place has really put on a show for us. Yesterday getting out and nailing that kingfish on the lure straight off the bat, and then Tim getting that amazing albacore in the afternoon. That was a really great fish, so, so cool to see that. And then today, obviously, the snapper fishing has just been on fire. You know, we only probably did about an hour's worth of fishing. And every fish was sort of at least 10 pounds. And that big one I got at the end there, even though I'm a bit gutted about having to take that home, it's still a great fish and I'm looking forward to sharing that with friends. So, yeah, all up, great trip. I'm pretty tempted, to be honest, to come back next weekend um, and have another crack at the tuna. Um, if the weather's good, I'll probably do that. So maybe on the next video, I'll see you back down here. But well, thanks for watching this one guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.